Hello folks, this is Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the auger or the dry belt on your HS, uh, HS Honda Snowblower uh, 624, 724, 828, 928, 1132, or 1332. A friend of mine brought over this 1132 saying that it, the it wouldn't drive the handle is uh see that there's no tension to it in this case it was fairly easy here's the broken cable that it connects up here it broke i don't see this too often uh, the reason why this probably broke is that when it was in the slot it was kind of frozen in there so that the cable was rubbing against metal. So it's really important to keep this lubricated, which I'll show. But usually what I see is down here, I'm gonna show you on another machine, the, the spring broke at the top. See the, here's a, here's a spring for the, for the auger cable. And what happened is it, it broke. So that's what I usually see. But then in this case, it was the it was the the culprit was the cable that itself that's broke. So let me show you what I do. I'm gonna show you on this machine here because the bucket's off and it's gonna be a lot easier for you to folks to see. On this 1132, I had to remove the light. You have to remove the bell cover. And your cables go uh, go to the they go to the springs right here, so it'd be a little, little bit more difficult for you to see. So I got this old parts machine out, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Now up here, let me see. This is the drive cable, and what I did was I locked down the auger cable so this pulls forward. You see. And this goes in here like this. And then you use, excuse me, you use needle nose pliers to pull it out. It's in there. You see how it's in there now? So you wanna keep this lubricated. And to pull it out, all you have to do is get some needle nose pliers, grab it up here and pull it out. Sometimes you need a little bit of back pressure. So I'll use a pick or I'll use a screwdriver. A pick actually works good to pull, to push on the back side of this to pull it out. Oh, let me, let me not get too far ahead of myself. The first thing you want to do is you want to unlock your cables down here. Here's your lock nut. So you loosen that up. You pull out both so you have room. This is the drive cable. So now you've got a lot of slack to work with. Okay, folks. Now, <clears throat> here's your, let's see if you can see this. Here's your tensioner. These are the, these are the idler pullers that, that when you uh, engage your handles, they, they push into your belt and, and engage your belts. So to get to this, what I want to do is I want to remove these two bolts here. This will give you more room to work with, okay? You want to pull it out easily. All right, now you can see what we're talking about here. You see how the cable is attached. This is the drive spring. This is the auger spring. So I want to get a, it's held in by a lock knot. Can you see that? So I want to loosen the lock knot. All right, now it's loose. I want to keep tension on it. The trick is, is to keep tension on it so that the, the bottom of the spring doesn't fall off of the, of the tensioner. So I'll just pull it out and then I put the new 
cable on. I put the new cable on just uh, as I took the old cable off. And then I just put it, I just slide it on and keep the tension on it. And slide this in here. Tighten it up. Okay. And then once you've tightened it up, then you can line up your bolt holes. Start your bolts. And tighten them up. Now, I've done this dozens of times. I'm making it look easy. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. You want to make sure you keep tension on this so that it's that the uh, the eyelet stays in the in the spring. And then you and then you will these are your pedals here. There's cables there. And then you would make sure that it goes on the these cables go on the inside of your handlebars, not on the outside. I see that a lot. When people change the cables, they will they will put them on the outside. You don't want to do that because then the cables are going to get uh, they're going to get in, interfered with the shooter control and everything. Okay, so then you put your cable back in here. I got my needle nose pliers again, folks. Let's see if I can do this. All right, see, it goes in pretty easy. Now, the, the, the auger cable is harder to take out and put back together. But then after you've done that, then you can, uh, you can slide your cables back into here, okay? Now, let's see. Slide it back in. Slide both in. Now, the, what, another trick I use is I take the old cable to uh, determine where to put the the nuts. I already attached the new cable onto this one. Here it is right here. Let's follow it up. All right, here's the end. What I do with the new cable, I reference the old cable to, to put the nuts in the right spot. You're not going to get a perfect adjustment, but you know what I'm talking about. You're getting the right idea. You're getting close to the right uh, adjustment. And then you, here's your shooter control on this machine. You have to loosen this nut up and pull it out a little bit so that you can you can pull the cable, the old cable out, and put the new cable in. So I'd I'd fish my cable through here. Make sure the routing is correct, otherwise you're going to have to redo it, or do the top part, and then you would put your, your cable in. Let's see if I can do it without the needle nose. But you put it, you push it in, line it up with the needle nose pliers and push it in, and when it's in there, then you can, then you can uh, attach your, your, uh, cable your lock and cable in the in the slots here so i hope this helps uh i appreciate you liking and subscribing these videos and if you want to become a member of the channel you can click on the join button but uh, that's not super important you do get some extra perks but just just subscribing to the channel is is uh, really appreciated if you have any questions or any kind of uh hacks that you know about that can make this easier for everybody please post them in the comments so we'll see you next time folks thank you